hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Sitting on my shoulder, a little parrot. Now that we got that ratcheted down on here, we should be able to drag this thing. Uh, shouldn't be that hard. Drag it. You guys are gonna enjoy this more if I hold the GoPro, which doesn't make it easier on me. <sighs> Things I do for you guys. Things I do for you. Ah, <sighs> this is this is really wet, guys. It's a really wet day. Basically, I'm just pulling this thing. And I know I'm gonna get some questions about these damn tarps here. My mom left them here. put them here because she was trying to keep the road from getting muddy all it did was ruin a whole bunch of good tarps and now it looks horrible anyways that's for me complaint let's just pull this dude pull this thing She floats once she's in the water. Too bad it's not water the whole way. I mean, good thing it's not, but at the same time. Whew, that's getting deep, guys. That's getting deep. That's getting deep. I don't want to have a... Oh, I could almost ride this thing if I had a paddle. We're actually not doing half bad, guys. I didn't bring any food or anything to drink. Hey, it's kind of against the clock today. I wanted to get out here before it was dark. I know with it raining, it's gonna get darker sooner, so. Okay, I think I caught my breath again. I'm not even one third of the way there. I'm not even one fourth of the way there. All right. The, the ribs on this thing, they constantly grab the dirt and mud. 
and sticks. <clears throat> All right, let's get her into this mud puddle. She, she floats in the mud puddle. This is how bad I want that house. I'm prepared to go through anything to make this dream happen. Having a house out here. My grandmother's father built a house out here. And, and my grandmother's grandfather built a house out here. All with the lumber they milled themselves from this property. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh God. easier in the water. It's amazing. One day you guys are going to build your dream house. And you're going to go through some hard, some very hard trials. My heart rate right now 107. I've walked 3,562 steps so far today. I'll give you a count at the end of the day <coughs> where we're at. My plan today is some deep water. My plan today is to have this back on the 10 where it's gonna go and have and get a fire started today also. I know you guys are thinking I'm crazy. Like, Brian, it's pouring down rain. Everything's soaking wet. How are you gonna start a fire? Believe me, there's ways. One day my kids are gonna look back at this video and see what it took to build this house, build this home. I kind of wanted my grandpa to help me do this today, but he's still getting over pneumonia. And this ain't no place for a almost 80 year old with pneumonia. When my son had preschool, so I couldn't have my wife's help. But with the kids and everything, it would have been more in the way than really helping. But they could have, you know, had the experience of actually helping build this house and build, you know, all the infrastructure that goes into a house. You guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The notification bell right over there and uh, stay tuned.
as you can see <clears throat> our little four inch ain't cutting it <clears throat> and I have to put a 12 inch in at least Well, you guys, I'm actually making decent progress. The scary part is, once I get past that swamp, I gotta go up the massive hill. That hill's gonna be treacherous. We made it to the cedar grove so far this is not quite the halfway mark we got another 200 feet to go before we meet the halfway mark <laughs> how am i feeling right now i'm exhausted <clears throat> i'm beat my wife signed me up for this uh muddy dash i think is, is what it's called it's one of those obstacle courses where you you know run through the mud and stuff and it's three miles she's been begging me to do one of these for i don't know two three years now trying to get me to sign up for one and, you know i would have done one sooner but i just can't see spending 50 to 60 bucks to go run in the mud <laughs> you know i don't know if it's the frugal side of me or just the I'm not crazy side, you know. But she signed me up for it and she's like, oh, you need to do training. You need to do this and that. I'm just like, yeah. But now that, I, now that I'm pulling this thing back here, I'm like, yeah, I do need to do some training. <coughs> Sorry guys, talking to myself here. This part is somewhat slightly downhill. Slightly. And I mean very slightly. Like maybe a half a percent grade or something. bunch of tree limbs across the path. I'm just gonna try and drag over it. Hopefully I can make it. Man, this BBC is just, this thing weighs a ton. Big black covert. I know what you're thinking. What I was trying to say. Whew. Let me get through these trees. through these trees. Whew. Okay guys, we made it to. It's what we normally cost 
call the seasonal spring summertime it dries up to a trickle as you can see there's a lot of water moving through here right now and it's probably about as my grandpa would like to say knee deep which is frog deep get it knee deep my grandpa always tells that joke Water's moving quick. Begs the question if I should uh, try going around. What do you guys think? Should I go around? That area is not as deep over there. I was thinking I'm just going straight through center, but because the culvert will float the easiest, I won't have to go around this big bend. Well, let me know in the comments section what you guys think around or through. Well guys, we made it through. almost fell over a few times there and I almost lost the boot it's getting really thick in there I'm gonna leave the backpack back for this one this is the hill as you guys can see it's pretty dang steep 5% grade at least I hope it doesn't seem like I'm being over dramatic at but let me tell you what, that is a hill. That is a big hill. Love my family. And building this house out here is going to be the best thing for them because it'll put my wife and I in a very, very strong financial standpoint almost no debt and the house almost paid for but my friends where you want to be out of life let's finish the pouring this hill and, uh, really really hard part done it's the last five feet Oh yeah. Now yeah. the small ups and downs the rest of the way. Shouldn't be that bad. There are some logs and stuff over the road, but I don't think those are gonna present too much of a challenge for us, hopefully. Log it slides all right. I really, really wish I would have brought like a water bottle or something. 
I may have one in the excavator, but I doubt it. <coughs> I need to be more prepared. I'm supposed to be an Eagle Scout. I don't mean to get political in my videos, but what the leadership of the BSA did a year or two ago was just downright bad for the organization. When they started, you know, the BSA has a motto and they just threw that out the window. To me is what it seems like. And uh, I don't know if I'm proud to call myself an Eagle Scout anymore. You know, I used to be proud to say that I, you know, achieved the rank of Eagle Scout, but honestly, I'm not really proud of it anymore. Because when an organization stands for something, and then because of the pressure of society, they change the core beliefs of that organization to go along with, you know, what society thinks that they should be. That ain't right. That ain't right. I ain't gonna stand by it either. Guys, we have finally made it to the front part. You guys can't even see nothing. We finally made it to the front part of the 10 acres. The lens is fogged up on the inside. Sorry about the quality, guys. This is wearing me out. This is wearing me out. <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna make you guys a hat for this GoPro because a lot of my video footage isn't what I want it to be because it rains so much in Washington, right? And I don't like really showing you guys footage where the lens is all foggy and water droplets everywhere.
Oh, yeah, we're on the main Shabby guys, what do you think? <laughs> That's where she's gonna go. What we'll end up doing probably is buying another short little section of that culvert because 13 feet, ee, not quite gonna cut it, I don't think. We're gonna need an extra four feet at least to go on that end. Mm -hmm. 